Today, we're going to talk about crutches. Not the type of crutch that you typically associate with dirt biking, and not the type of crutch we'd ever want to see you or your friends or our friends on, but the idea of bolt-on accessories as crutches. The way that this originated was during our clinics. Barry and I and Megs teach a setup portion. And one of the things we discuss is risers. And risers are a controversial topic. Every single one of us have a lot to say about risers. But instead of talking specifically about risers, what I want to talk about is the umbrella concept of crutches. So a crutch being something to assist or make riding dirt bikes easier. They fall under two categories generally, ergonomic crutches and performance crutches. Ergonomic crutches are the idea of risers or flex bars or steg peg or a comfy padded seat or foot pegs that are not stock and designed for ergonomics. The other side of crutches is performance. So it's header bomb pipes, any type of modification that adds more power or performance to your machine. Recluse clutches, are they performance or are they ergonomics? We will talk about that in great depth and detail in another video. Risers are frowned upon by top racers. They're frowned upon by manufacturers. And here's an example of why. Meg's Brat, who I've mentioned many times, who's part of our crew, she is 5'2", she's young, she's fast, she's aggressive. Meg's believes that coming out of the factory, and she's correct about this for sure, a bike that leaves the factory, those engineers who are much smarter than us have designed that machine, geometry, trail, rake, frame, wheelbase, all those things are designed specifically for performance. So Meg's philosophy and most racers philosophy is leave the bike as close to stock as possible and you'll get the most performance out of it. So that means adding risers, which change the geometry, it changes the setup, it changes so much just by moving your handlebars. It's hurting the performance of the motorcycle. So let's talk about me. I am impossibly tall. I am old. My body is beat to rat shit. My philosophy about riding dirt bikes is simply, I want to go out for the day. I want to be as easy on my body as possible. I definitely do not want to get injured, but I want, I want to go out and hang out with my buddies all day on the trail. Because of my objectives and my physical size, I enjoy bolt-on ergonomic crutches, top to bottom flex bars with a high rise on them so I don't get a crink in the back my back my wrists and my elbows and my shoulders feel so much better with a set of flex bars ergonomic crutches next a seat concept seat I sit down on the trail sometimes when I get tired or we're in a transit section I sit down and relax I'm into steg pegs Barry Morris from cross training enduro skills he introduced me to these they were created by an Australian desert racer so he could be on the bike for long hours and take some of the pressure off his upper body. I love them. People hate them. We'll talk about them in great detail at another time. Moving down, I use, you know, fat low boy pegs. It gives me, it opens up the cockpit for me. It's a wider platform. My feet, it's more comfortable than a long day. These are all ergonomic crutches. Here's my philosophy. If you're young, fast, aggressive, and you're trying to shave two seconds off your lap time, leave the bike as stock as you possibly can. Here's the range in the spectrum, all the way up to tall, old, fat, short, lazy. That's in my category. We believe that it's more important for you to be on the dirt bike, in the woods, with other like-minded men, more than it is important for you to shave two seconds off your lap time. I've been in this sport for a long time now, and I don't see very many young, fast people. What I see is 35-year-old men who have families and responsibilities, up to 70, 80-year-old men, that entire spectrum. Nobody's out there chasing points. 
It's hard to describe what a wonderful experience being out on a dirt bike in the middle of nowhere with your friends is. If you need risers to make your back comfortable, get risers. Who cares what everyone thinks? Try risers. Try other things that help ergonomically. The goal is to be out there. Get something that helps you get out there for the day, enjoy your time in the middle of nowhere going places that ordinary people never will see. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think of bolt-ons as crutches? Are you into performance? Do you hate risers, love risers, hate steak pegs, love steak pegs, hate flex bars, love flex, like whatever it is, let us know. We're truly interested. We, we think and talk about this stuff all the time as I'm sure you do when you're with your dirt bike friends. And right below us in the comment section, we have a whole community of dirt bike friends. So let her rip.